So I wanted to share some tips with you for how to make code.org run a little smoother, a little better, a little easier, maybe make you get your work done faster. Okay. I've got a little uh, set of tips here or hacks or hints. Uh, first would be close any extra tabs you don't need open. It will make things run faster with less freezing, right? I had a student had 14 tabs open while working on code.org. was like, oh, it's going slow. Um, that would be the equivalent of if you had every faucet in your house open and running. You turned on everything, your tub and your bathroom and your sinks and uh, your kitchen sink was running and your dishwasher was running and your washing machine was running. And you went outside to turn on the hose to wash your car and you're like, wow, there's no water pressure. I'd be like, well, duh, you're using all your water. You only have so much water coming in your house and you divide it among all those places. You're not going to get much. Okay. Same thing on your computer. If you have 10 tabs open, your uh, computer's strength is being divided among them. So now I've got Google Drive here. I'll close that. We Video. Yeah, that's a one that uses a lot of resources. YouTube, I don't need. Okay. I just need these four tabs to do what I want to do. All right. So close any extra tabs. Use your mouse. Oh my goodness. It's so much easier with a mouse than with a trackpad. I can't even tell you. So if you don't have a mouse, get one. Uh, it'll make your life easier in code.org and future tech ed activities. All right. Uh, and here's one specific to just coding. You want to write your code a little bit at a time and then test it. OK, and you might say, well, I, I haven't finished the, the, the instructions. I haven't done what the, the instructions asked me to do yet, Mr. Pat. That's OK. Write a couple of lines of code. Test it. See if it works. If that works, great. Write another line or two. Test it again. See if it works. Add another line of code. If you test it then and for some reason it's not working, you know it's that very last line of code that is your problem. If, if you just wrote 10 lines of code and hit run, and the program messes up, you might not be able to find out which one of those 10 lines was the problem. And you might have to start over. So add a little bit, test it, add a little bit, test it. And that's the best strategy for coding here. Okay. Um, so that's kind of covers three and four here. Use the step button. Now you don't always have a step button, but here I am on, uh, I'm in the, the 2018 course, which my seventh graders are doing. This might look different for some of you in other courses, but, uh, I'm here and it says, follow this path to help me get to the pig. So I got an angry bird here. There's the pig it needs to get to. Instead of just pushing run, I'm going to use the step button. And when I click step, it does one line of code and you can even see that line of code is highlighted in a yellow line there. So when I hit the next step, it moves to the next line of code. And then when I click the next step, it turned right and it tells me something's not quite right. And my piggy's over here and my bird is facing this way. So I might say, okay, let's do this and then reset it. Now I could do run, but running is a little fast, okay? Particularly when you get into more complicated code, all right? Here, let me add another move forward, and we'll do this step by step. Step one, move forward. Step two, moves forward again. You can see over here where it's lit up. Step again, it turns left. Step again, it moves forward one. Ah, we're one short of getting to the piggy, okay? Add that. Now I'm pretty sure that I know this is going to work. At this point, maybe I hit the run. Right? And there, I completed the activity. All right? Now, another cool thing about this area is look at this little arrow I get. You see these three dots right here? There's also three dots over here. That means I should be able to, maybe not so much here, but over here for sure. I can move things. So if you're hitting the run or the step button and you have this teeny tiny little screen over here, right? It's hard to see what the bird is doing. If when you're ready to run, you drag it like this and make it take up much more of your screen, it's a lot easier to see what's going on here. Okay. Further on, you're going to have lots of code over here. You're going to need room to work. You might want to make this smaller while you're dragging your blocks of code over here and making your loops. 
And when it's time to run, drag this and hit the run button. So using this guy here and this guy here are going to be very important things you should be using all the time. All right. Let's go to another lesson. I think if I go back here to lesson nine and I go to the first one in lesson nine. <clears throat> okay. Hey, look, no step button over here. Right? Where'd my step button go? There is none. All right. But watch, I have a speed control bar here. And turtle, of course, means slow. Jackrabbit means fast. Okay. I'm going to say go slow. So when run, repeat four times. Let's see what happens when I click run and see how slow it goes. Goes forward. And you can see the yellow lines are going again. Goes forward, turns right, draw a sticker, jump forward, turn right, draw a sticker. And then you see the output over here. Okay, and that's not quite what I was looking for, so I'm going to shrink that down, and maybe I'll come over here and make this uh, six instead, and then I'll reset it. I'll make that big again. Oop, come on, you, and then run it, and see if that has solved my problems. <clears throat> And this allows me to see the yellow lines over here. It allows me to see what's going on with my output over here on the screen. Okay, and it's telling me nothing's right. Look at the two arrows here up in the top right corner, all right? That tells me that there's more stuff than I can see in one frame here. I can also stretch this down and make that smaller. So if you have a lot of instructions, you may wanna grab that to read them all at once. Or when you shrink it back down, you'll notice you have these arrows here to move up and down, okay? So you got two different places you can change the size of your screen, all right, or your work area. You got the directions with the three dots right there. And you got the over by the, the run area over here. You can shrink that down and you can do this. And now that I feel pretty good about this, I can put it on Jackrabbit, watch how fast. Holy smokes, that was quick. If I were trying to watch the lines over here, uh, lines of code, having it at jackrabbit speed would be just uh, too fast, okay? So you want to play with these adjustments, the speed of how fast your code runs, okay? If you don't have the step button, that's helpful to turn it down to turtle speed or tortoise speed. And again, changing the size of your screen here with these arrows is gonna make your life much easier. See if I forgot anything. Uh, no, do not skip lessons or activities, okay? If you get stuck, you can always ask for help, all right? But um, you're not really allowed to m skip things. I actually have the ability to look at my students and see who has done what and what levels they're on and how many things they've completed, all right? So if you were to have skipped, you know, number three, four, and five, and then gone to seven because you thought three, four, and five were lame, I'm going to see a big holes here that are not turned green and say, hey, go back and fix those for me, please. All right. And what else do I have? Oh, hey, guess what? Not a race, guys. Some of you are certainly going to be faster than others. Uh, some of you are going to go slower. As long as you are completing activities, as long as you are solving problems, as long as you are learning and getting better at coding, uh, there is no specific, you have to have this much done by this amount of time, okay? Some people are very good natural coders and they might go further than somebody who struggles a little bit more. But I know that we can all improve our coding skills and our puzzle solving skills. You know, think of it like a video game. Your goal is to try to fill up all of these squares or circles with uh, diamonds or circles with green, green dots, okay? And that's your job, all right? So <clears throat> follow these instructions to make code.org more pleasant and for it to go easier and faster.